Hey guys, welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to go over just a few more of the uh, other tools that are available in SketchUp for us to kind of uh, add on to your repertoire of what we went over last class. So this will be a shorter video, so let's get started. Um, so if you remember last class, we kind of went over basic shapes, how to make 3D objects, uh, but uh, there was a few questions regarding how do I make that like peaked roof shape that we see in so many houses. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, we're going to use a new tool today called the Line Tool. Uh, but before we get into the Line Tool, let's just talk a little bit about some uh, 3D modeling vocabulary here. So uh, on our 3D shapes here, uh, this is what we're calling a face. Uh, anytime we're seeing these lines here, this is an edge. So that's an edge, that's an edge, that's an edge. No, that's not an edge, that's an edge. And then over here at the corners, right here, these are where we have our endpoints or our vertexes. Endpoints or vertexes. Most 3D modeling programs use the word vertex, but SketchUp likes to use endpoints. So why is this important? Well, you may or may not see it in a minute, but uh, let's go back to um, creating that peaked roof here on this cube that we've made, or rectangular shape that we've made. Uh, so let's go up to the line tool here at the top. Uh, the line tool does pretty much what you'd expect. It draws lines, right? So you can kind of make uh, most custom shapes with the line tool. Then you can you know, manipulate them just like you would any other shape. But what we're going to do here is we're going to use the line tool on an already existing shape. And what we want to do here is when you hover your line tool over top of an edge or an endpoint, it's going to like snap to it. So when you're on a face, the little icon by the line tool there will be a diamond. When you are on an edge, it'll be a square. It's going to be a green circle on an endpoint. But if we snap this along here on our edge, it's going to go to this little blue circle, which is going to indicate we're at a midpoint, which is at the halfway point between the two endpoints. So we're going to click once there. We're going to drag that out until we see the other midpoint. We're going to click again. And now we've split that roof in half. Excellent. So now that we split it in half, we can go about raising the roof, if you will, and make that peaked roof style. In order to do that, we're going to learn yet another tool. It's called the Move tool. It's up here. It looks like this little uh, four-way cross, kind of like a, a compass rose. So with the Move tool selected, you can hover over different faces, edges, or vertex, and you can move objects around. As you can see, you can grab the endpoints, move the endpoint around. You can slide the edge around. Um, but we, what we want to do is we want to grab this center line that we've created, and we're going to want to drag that up. Now, if you grab that center line and try to move it, it doesn't always go the way you want. So what we can do uh, in SketchUp, however, is we can lock your movement to one of the three axes here. Okay. In order to do that, uh, you left click and hold on your uh, on your line or whatever you're selecting, and then you tap one of the appropriate arrow arrow keys. So since I want this to go up and down, I'm just going to tap the up arrow key once. Okay, and then I'm just going to drag my mouse up, and now it's going to go move on the blue axis only. Let go when you're happy, and that looks pretty good. Now we have a nice peaked roof. Perfect. Let's move on. Let's uh, go about making a pyramid. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my rectangle tool. R is the shortcut. And I'm going to drag out a perfect square here. In order to make a perfect square, you can actually just create your shape until you see that dotted line indicating that that is a perfect square. That looks good. So I've made a square now. And uh, since we're making a pyramid, I'm just going to raise that up just a touch there. And I'm going to go back to my line tool that we just learned about. Okay, but instead of going from midpoint to midpoint, we're going to go from endpoint to endpoint, and then endpoint to endpoint. And then we're going to go back to our move tool, shortcut key M. Grab that center point, tap up on the arrow keys, and drag it up. And now we have a pyramid. Fantastic. Okay, moving along. Uh, let's go on to the eraser tool. Okay, so here's how, what you can do with the eraser tool. So let's say you've made two shapes. Maybe you're making like an L-shaped house, a little rancher style there. Let's ignore that Java warning yet again. So you're making a little L-shape there, and you want to push and pull this up. Uh, to create um, that style of house. But we have this little line in the middle here that we want to get rid of. So what we're going to do is the second tool over, that's the eraser tool. You can click on that, delete that separating line. And now we have one unified shape that you can raise up together. That's pretty neat. Okay, um, but let's continue on with the shape here. And uh, let's, um, 
let's make some like walls, some interior walls for this shape we've created here. And uh, we're gonna go on to uh, yet another new tool, and that is the offset tool. Now the offset tool is right up here at the top uh, in between the push and pull tool and the move tool. And what the offset tool does, it works by making a smaller or larger copy of a face that you've selected. So if I hover my offset tool over this face here, left click once, and I can move my mouse and I can make a bigger and smaller copy of that. So once that looks good, I'm gonna to click to place, and then you can go to push and pull and you could raise that up. And the offset tool works with pretty much any face you want. So if I was to go to offset tool on this pyramid here, take that, and then we could just push that in. Pretty neat, all right? So same thing, offset tool. Whether or not you'd wanna do this here, that's up to you. I don't know what that is, giant birdhouse or something and push that in. Okay, so that's how the offset tool works. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you got something out of that and we will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye-bye.